Hello everyone, welcome to the Lace Up Tutorial Series. Today I'm going to show you how to deliver an invoice to a customer and then create a sales order for that same customer for the following visit. If you look on the screen, you'll see the driver's route for the day. To begin delivering an invoice, you tap on the customer. In this case, I have one delivery for Bob's store. So I tap on Bob's store. I tap on the delivery and there is a delivery that I have to make to Bob's store. If I go inside, I'll see the details. What I want to do first is finalize this ticket, print the invoice, and bring the merchandise into the customer. To finalize the ticket, I hit the check mark and I tap finalize. The first step when finalizing an invoice is to collect a signature. Next, I'm going to print the final invoice. To do so, I tap print and I select how many copies. In this instance, I'm going to print one. When I'm done, I tap done. Obviously, I'm going to tap done once I've given the final invoice to the customer and I've given them the product. Once I tap done, the invoice will read finalized in green. Next, I'm going to clock out. If you look, I get a green check mark next to Bob Store's name indicating that I've delivered that order, or that invoice in this case. Now I want to create a sales order for the following visit. To do so, I tap again on Bob's store. I tap the three dots and I select sales order. When I select sales order, it's going to bring up an order template of everything that that customer normally orders. So I'm going to add quantities now. Four of those. Four of those all the way down the list here. When I'm done with the sales order, now I want to set the ship date, the date in which my next delivery visit is going to be. So I go to the three dots and I set the date. Let's say it's for next week. When I'm done, I tap send order and the system is going to automatically transmit this sales order live to the back office so it can begin getting processed. In this case, I used a ship date one week in the future, but normally this is done when you're going to visit the customer in the near future. So if you look, I've created a sales order and I've invoiced the customer at the same time, thus completing the entire cycle. Now, when I go to deliver to the customer a second time, that next sales order will be preloaded on my device so I can invoice the customer again. Thanks for watching the Lace Up Tutorial series. Please subscribe to our channel for daily tutorials on the system. Or go to our website at www.laceupsolutions.com for more information on the system and for more tutorials. Thanks and have a great day.